Okay, welcome back. A short while ago, I spoke with House Minority Leader, Ohio Republican Congressman John Boehner, about some of the big issues facing Washington, especially Mr. Obama's trip to Copenhagen on the Chicago Olympics. Please take a listen. You have been a major critic of President Obama's going to Copenhagen to sell the uh, Chicago Olympics. A lot of people say that's local politics and he shouldn't be involved in it. First of all, what is your take? Well, there's a lot going on in America. You know, most Americans are wondering where are the jobs. And why is Washington spending all this money and believe that the president's got a big job and that's to lead? Uh, he's not the mayor of Chicago. Uh, and so going to Copenhagen in the middle of uh, the, the problems that we're trying to deal with here in Washington uh, just doesn't seem to be appropriate. What do you make of the fact that um, I think former and current Republican presidential candidate, former Governor Mitt Romney of Massachusetts, has come out and actually endorsed Obama's trip to Copenhagen? What do you make of that? Your fellow party member, and he's an active guy, and he's an important guy. Listen, I'd love for the Olympics to go to Chicago. Uh, but uh, the president really doesn't uh, need to go overboard. And I think uh, taking uh, two Air Force Ones, two 747s to Copenhagen uh, is over the top. Uh, some people might be for it. I understand that. Uh, I just think that uh, at a time when we've got big debates in Washington about our future in Afghanistan, uh, what's going to happen uh, with, a, with trying to improve our health care system, uh, it's, just not, uh, it's just not the right time. Uh, for the president to be doing this. All right. Uh, I appreciate that point of view, but I, I do want to ask you again, because there's a lot of news about this. Japan, for example, their new prime minister is going over to make the pitch. Uh, Spain, both uh, King Carlos, uh, King Juan Carlos and their prime minister are going over to make the pitch. Years ago, Tony Blair and Vladimir Putin went over to make the Olympic pitch. So if, if, if President Obama doesn't go over there, is the United States less competitive? I mean, is it possible that he He's right and you've got it wrong. Larry, he's the president of the United States of America, uh, the world leader. Uh, and I just believe that uh, this is over the top. Uh, he could have sent a letter. He could have sent a video. There are a lot of things he could have done. Uh, but the American people are concerned about issues that are affecting their lives today. Uh, and what he and the Congress ought to be doing are doing those things that are going to help get our economy moving again and to help create more jobs in America. Unfortunately, all the policies that they seem to be pushing here in Washington are killing jobs and will kill more jobs if they're successful at getting them passed. All right, let me go to some domestic issues, sir. Um, the Democrats held a, some kind of press conference today to protect Medicare. Uh, I spoke to uh, Representative DeFazio this morning. He wants a special cost of living adjustment. What is your take on that, the Democrats all of a sudden coming to the defense of Medicare? Well, this is just a joke. And as I said in my press release, are you kidding me? <laughs> These are the people are calling for a $500 billion cut in Medicare over the next 10 years. Uh, and yet they have the audacity to stand up and say, well, we're protecting Medicare. Uh, this just doesn't fly. If you're one of the 6 million Americans uh, who are on Medicare, who get your Medicare through Medicare Advantage, uh, say goodbye because it's one of the programs uh, that they want to cut. Uh, and even the Congressional Budget Office has come out. Uh, and made clear that if you have $500 billion worth the cuts to Medicare, services are going to be cut for seniors. Uh, so let's quit kidding ourselves. A press release and a press conference is not going to be enough to convince seniors uh, to support their their ill-thought-out bill. And one other one, I don't want to keep you too long, but you got a new uh, cap-and-trade bill coming out of the Senate, Senator Kerry, Senator Boxer. I want to ask you, the House has already passed one. What's your assessment of cap-and-trade this year? Is it dead? Is it alive? How do you see it, it's sir? It's deader than a doornail, Larry. Uh, listen, they, they got this thing through the House, and there are a whole lot of House members, Democrats and Republicans, uh, who will tell you it's the worst vote they'd ever cast. Uh, they, uh, the senators have all heard the stories. They've all heard from their constituents. Uh, this bill has not one chance of becoming law this year. All right, House Republican Leader John Bear, we appreciate your time, sir, very, very much. Thanks for coming back on the Cudlow Report. Thanks, Larry.